So, hey guys, today I'll be showing you guys the uh, Dragon Master Magia uh, combo that I was kind of going through in uh, one of my previous videos. So, th there wasn't, well, uh, well, it, it wasn't visually understandable. So, uh, here we are in a simulator where you can actually test hands. So, what would sure be great if I were able to do this without having to craft the cards for, like, every stupid combo. But, uh, yeah, th th this'll work, so... I'm going to start off by scaling Wakuchi, activating the effect of Wakuchi, grabbing the copy Big Bang Cape, and Big Cape grabs us the Soul Piercer, and the Soul Piercer, and drop the Soul Piercer, and then we have to grab the bike here because we need this for later, and we need this in the graveyard, so we have to always grab bike here, we can't grab it later. Unless maybe we, uh, used bike to grab Wakuushi, and this means that this is technically um, a one-card combo where we have six starters for, I believe, right? So, yeah. Then we're going to grab scales, discard scales, summon scales, and then we will summon the Soul Piercer back, and we're going to trigger the Soul Piercer again, and we're going to use the effect of Excel Synchro Stardust to summon back the tuner, and we're also going to get a set up here. And then we're going to Soul Piercer here. And then we're going to summon Wagon, and Wagon is going to search us up right here. So it's going to grab us the Soul Horns, and here we're going to have uh, two different level monsters. And of course, this means that we can make a uh, Cosmic And then we're going to special summon soul horns to the uh, puzzle mino zone and that will trigger puzzle mino allowing us to adjust the level so that we can make uh herald of dark light and then we can summon gallant granite and then trigger essentially both effects here to uh, search so now we have illusion of chaos and the dark exile fusion and then over here now we can do illusion of chaos we can return what whatever card so in case for example we have the second illusion of chaos that we're going to be running for this. Uh, we can just put that back and then uh, grab Magician Souls and boom, special summon Magician Souls. Uh, and here we'll always have the materials to uh, make Verte, so we could also use Puzzle Amino, but depends, I guess. Also, worth mentioning is uh, the Super Heavy Samurai Monk Big Benke here and the Wakaushi here are not possible to send off of the Magician Souls because it requires them to be sent to the graveyard for cost, which is not possible with uh, 10 cards because they will go to the extra deck face up instead. So that's not doable. And we could technically use the Puzzle Amino here to make like maybe an Apollosa or something, and we still don't use the Pendulum Summon. Uh, that we still have with these set scales so this is all one card so uh if we have a different starter between the levels of uh two and seven we can pendulum summon it what whatever it is and then do the full combo with that and then make the uh verte later and then go uh verte effect to then uh well in this case we're using polymerization so we're going to Poly on Illusion of Chaos and the Dark Hexial Fusion. And this is going to make us the Dragon Master Magia. And uh, yeah, that's essentially the combo here. And this is a one and a half card combo that should be splashable into like most decks if you uh, are okay with one thing. It's essentially that we do need to commit a lot of extra deck space. So here. Uh, we can cut one Scarecrow, I guess, and Sprite Elf, which we didn't end up using, so that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you have to commit seven extra deck uh, slots for this, and then that leaves you with uh, nine, which is probably enough to do whatever other combo you want, and we just need to leave essentially like two... Uh, spots on our uh, end board to do the combo with to uh, end with our Dragon Master Magia here. And I, I mean, th this is a little bit expensive to do, like re realistically, but I, I mean, it is technically splashable. 
and it is technically generically accessible. So the only thing you have to really look out for here is that uh, whatever you're trying to pair with this combo, it just shouldn't, um, it shouldn't need, well, it shouldn't lock you. Uh, as long as it doesn't lock us out of like our Verte summoning our Dragon Master Magia, we should be fine. And of course, if we do open the polymerization or whatever, not the end of the world. So if we open the polymerization, we just don't need to make Verte at all. And we can just use the material to do something else and just activate polymerization. Like, as wild as that sounds. But uh, we can also, if we do want to make Verte for whatever reason, we can uh, put back the polymerization and then do Verte effect to uh, send the polymerization. Because uh, Verte... Can we check the text somehow? Oh. Okay, so that this needs to specifically send a uh, fusion or polymerization from your deck to the graveyard to activate. So it's not necessarily that bad with this, but it, it is a thing we need to consider. So uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye.